All right, we have officially entered the time of the year when we're inundated with holiday rom-coms. Some are going to be good, others great. And of course, there will be some Christmas turds along the way. Now, I watch Netflix's The Merry Gentleman. So where does it fall on the spectrum? To save her parents' small-town performing venue, a former big-city dancer decides to stage an all-male Christmas-themed review. So just as the synopsis states, this follows Britt Robertson as a dancer who comes home to help save her family's bar and has the revelation that having male strippers will be the key to their financial turnaround. This also stars Chad Michael Murray, Marla Sokolov, Michael Gross, Maria Canals Barrera, and Maxwell Caulfield, who I was most excited to see because, come on, he's Rex Manning. And we mustn't dwell. Not today. We can't. Not on Rex Manning Day. But back to this movie, this is as cheesy as you might expect. When the movie opens, Britt Robertson is getting ready for her Christmas review. And supposedly this is a big deal. The show is sold to us like it's a major production. But what we get is limp and lackluster. So the believability of her being some sort of big city professional dancer is completely shot right from the start. But just because there is a large amount of cheese within this, that doesn't mean that it also doesn't have some mildly quaint and endearing heart. Robertson and Chad Michael Murray end up having a lot of cute chemistry, bantering with each other and presenting each other, and then us, with a lot of awkward but fun charm. We can tell they're going to be a couple right from the start. I mean, there's nothing that's not predictable or obvious within the story. I didn't really mind. There's nothing deep that's going on with this storytelling either, giving us situations that create only the smallest amount of conflict, but keeping the entire movie lighthearted and easy to watch. This is only 87 minutes, so it's short, and it probably isn't something that's going to just keep you riveted to your chair. As a casual watch, this held my interest, with the most engaging portions coming when Robertson and Murray were sharing the screen. Their energy and dynamic, it's endearing, but their relationship, it's also rushed. I mean, it comes about quickly, especially for the emotional tension that's thrust on us towards the end. And I say thrust because it's not earned. I mean, yeah, I want them to be a couple and get together, but in the few short days we see them together, the entirety of their romance is just not believable. And then, as if on holiday rom-com cue, we get the requisite and inevitable conflict that arises, making a character have to face a choice that we all already know the answer to. Now, the filming of this, it's sufficient and fine, looking like the plethora of other holiday rom-coms that you'd find on Netflix or Hallmark. They're polished and clean, set in a comfy small town where everyone gets along and there's zero drama. Outside, of course, for the family business that's fallen behind on their bills, thus the impetus for this entire story. But if you go into this hoping for a lot of hunky dancing, you only get a bit. The guys chosen to dance, they're ripped and toned, but their dance moves, they do leave a lot to be desired. This isn't Magic Mike. This is more Hocus Pocus Henry, who learned his skill through some sort of book. For what it is, though, it's sufficient, and it's exactly in line with everything else within the movie. Mildly passable is believable, and yet somehow still minorly entertaining, too. If you've watched my reviews for a while, you know I have a pretty low bar when it comes to the holiday romantic movies. They basically have to not completely suck for me just to get a bit of enjoyment from them. That's what we get here. Is this good? No, not really. The acting is fine, with the actors doing what they can with the lackluster material the story provides. The dialogue, it's generic, and thanks to low-level predictable tension, the production, it's not memorable or unique in any way. It's also not funny, not even eliciting mild chuckles from the pratfalls or the sarcastic quips. The charisma between Robertson and Murray it worked, creating a relationship I wanted to see come to fruition, but it's also rushed, so the ensuing relationship doesn't come across as believable. And if you need something on in the background, this can fit the bill. But if you're looking for a decent holiday-themed romance or comedy, this isn't one that you're going to want to jump on. There's no sex, nudity, profanity, or violence. I give The Merry Gentleman two out of five couches. It's still early in the season, so I am holding out hope that we're going to get some better and more endearing holiday rom-coms. All right, what's a holiday film that you watch every year? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.